And now let us pray for ourselves and for the world that God loves. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to us in humility, reaching out to all God's little ones with mercy and compassion, and you ask us to do the same. So today, today we pray for all those who find themselves in humble circumstance, for the homeless in our community, and for refugees wherever they take shelter, for the poor and all who find themselves without resources to cope today, for those who live in isolated communities in Canada and around the world, lacking access to care and resources and technology, those things that we take for granted. Strengthen them in your mercy and humble us, lest we forget how much we have to be grateful for. Lord Jesus Christ, hear us as we pray for all of those who have been humbled by life's unexpected tur turns during the months of pandemic. We remember before you those who face illness, pain, or injury, those who have known death or disaster, fear or failure, and all who struggle with anxiety and uncertainty. We pray for the victims of crime and violence, and we especially pray for the people of Ukraine this day. We pray for those who suffer through the misjudgment or mistakes of others. And we pray for those who suffer because of the consequences of their own action and their own choice. Embrace them in your mercy and humble us, lest we imagine we can live our lives untouched by trouble. Lord Jesus Christ, hear us as we pray for those who have not learned the lessons of humility yet, for those who live carelessly or drive recklessly, endangering themselves and others, for those who abuse the trust and power in their positions, betraying those whose interests are in their hands. And we pray for those who mislead others for gain or indulge their fame with no example for the example they set. Humble them all in your mercy and humble us if we are tempted to ignore the consequences of our own actions. Lord Jesus Christ, as we watch you walk your, to your cross this week, Fill us with humble gratitude that you go before us into any challenge, into any crisis we may face. Give us the courage to stand with others facing injustice or prejudice, and give us words to speak for those at risk at home or abroad. For you have given us words to pray for the coming of your kingdom, of your reign of justice, mercy, and peace. And so we pray now together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing hymn, 214, All Glory, Laud, and Honor, and it's sung by Marianne McVicker. <laughs> 